Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Wong Wen Kee, a renal physician in Singapore at One Future Kidney Care. Today, I'll be talking about chronic kidney disease, what it is, why it happens, the symptoms to watch out for, and what we can do to prevent it. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short, is a condition characterized by gradual loss of kidney function over time. It includes conditions that damage your kidneys and decrease their ability to keep you healthy. If kidney disease worsens, waste product can build to high levels in your blood and make you feel sick. CKD also increases your risk of having heart and blood vessel diseases. When CKD progresses, it may eventually lead to end-stage kidney failure, which requires dialysis or a kidney transplant to sustain life. CKD is a major health concern in Singapore. Approximately 14% of the population has CKD in 2022, up from 9% two years earlier. It is estimated that nearly 900,000 people here, or 1 in 4 individuals, will suffer from CKD by 2035. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure in many parts of the world, including Singapore. In Singapore, two-thirds of dialysis patients have diabetic kidney disease. Other common causes of kidney failure include hyperpressure, pulmonary nephritis, which is an inflammation of the kidney filtering unit, autoimmune diseases like lupus, inherited conditions such as polycystic kidney disease, and prolonged urinary tract obstruction. High blood sugar levels can damage the kidneys over time, making diabetes the leading cause of CKD. Persistent high blood pressure can harm the blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their function. Elevated cholesterol levels can lead to atherosclerosis, which can reduce blood flow to the kidneys. Other common risk factors for CKD include cardiovascular diseases, being over the age of 60, excess body weight, and smoking. Recurrent kidney infection can contribute to CKD. Prolonged use of certain painkillers, such as non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, can also cause kidney damage. Additionally, exposure to certain toxins or heavy metals, particularly in occupational settings, can harm the kidneys. A family history of kidney disease can increase the risk of developing CKD. Certain genetic disorders, such as polycystic kidney disease can also lead to CKD. Many people do not experience symptoms until the advanced stages of kidney disease. However, some may notice symptoms such as frothy urine, puffiness around the eyes, especially in the morning, swollen feet and ankles, increased need to urinate especially at night, fatigue and low energy, difficulty concentrating, poor appetite, or a sensation of wanting to vomit, trouble sleeping, muscle cramping at night, or dry and itchy skin. Early stages of CKD are usually asymptomatic, making screening essential for early detection. Simple and inexpensive tests, including a blood test for kidney function and a urine test for protein, can screen for early stage CKD. CKD is diagnosed based on abnormalities in kidney structure or function present for more than three months. Diagnostic tests are necessary to determine the severity and cause of CKD. These tests include various blood tests, unit tests, and imaging tests. Genetic testing may be required to diagnose genetic kidney diseases.